Okay. So this is another one with the uh, student uh, Noam uh, Mo from uh, Tel Aviv University. And the goal here was to build an OCR system. The OCR system um, is actually uh, being already applied by a company called the uh, Orbograph, which reads uh, checks. As many of you know, it's not enough to give a prediction. So if I give you a prediction about what, uh, what I'm supposed, supposedly read from the check, it's not enough. I need to give a, a score that tells you how much I'm uncertain about what I've read. So this is true for any type of computer vision application that I'm aware of. It's not enough to give a black box decision. You need to have a confidence, and if possible, also explain why you made uh, this uh, decision. So the point is that in OCR, you can many times use the lexicon and see whether what you read applies to the lexicon. But when you're reading numbers out of uh, bank checks, then you can't uh, have any lexicon. Basically, you are just within digits. Also for dates, you have some rules, but in general, the space is very, is very broad. And those are exactly the fields that we were asked to read. We had previously spoke about dictionary-based OCR, but it just didn't fit to this uh, requirement. So we want to read, and the system requires that we provide a confidence uh, uh, score. So first of all, we try to use the actual loss that we get when we read the system. So the loss that we get, if it ran with the CTC uh, system, we get some probabilities as the output. Uh, we look at the probability. The probability is a very bad confidence score. Really terrible. So we're actually happy. We said we are solving a problem. There is no other solution. The baseline is terrible and so on. But then we figured, let's go ahead, do one more step, and look at the ratio between the most confident read that you have and the second most confident read. In this case, this ratio is very potent as a confidence that you can use in OCR systems. So this is actually the first thing that, uh, that we found. Not a great novelty, but still very useful. The problem is that if you are reading uh, images that are of a very low quality, then this ratio between the first reading and the second reading is basically worthless. And if you are talking about a real-world solution, that needs to read checks in many formats, many, many banks, uh, many handwritings, and so on. In many cases, the previous steps, those that segment the, the image that you are going to get, make terrible mistakes, and then you are not able to uh, say much about the image. And in these cases, the ratio between the first and the second is just uninformative. So what we did is to train a deep neural network so the first deep neural network is an RNN trend with CTC loss to give the reading. But then we add in a second neural network. The second neural network gives you the confidence. So it's like a reflective walk. It looks at what you read, and it predicts whether you were correct or not correct. How does it do it? During training, we have the reading. We have the ground proof. If the two are the same, then this is a positive label. We are successful. If they are not the same, then we know that this is a case where we are mistaken. So this is the binary classification problem that provides us with a prediction, and we just train using uh, regular binary uh, classification losses that provide us with uh, the confidence uh, score. What we get eventually is uh, an OC curve that shows much better results than what we get with the ratio of the most probable reading and the second most probable. And you can also see, if you look at the percentage of the confidence, you can see that it makes sense. So these, these exam examples are the ones that we are less certain about. Those examples are the one, ones that we are most certain about. So we talk about the system, a real-world challenge. We were able to tackle it and provide a confidence score, which was absolutely necessary for the actual uh, application. Uh, let me just give you a glimpse into what we are uh, trying to do right now, that I think is very interesting. We are now trying to get confidence scores for the unsupervised case. 
So our work was uh, extremely supervised. We had a first OCR that is supervised, then a second network that is supervised. What if we can get confidence scores for unsupervised systems? So this is what we are working on right now. There's a lot of work this uh, last year about mapping between domains, and uh, we want to see whether the answer that you get is actually the answer that you wanted to get. So this is what we call confidence in uh, unsupervised learning. Thank you very much.